Hello, my name is Mark Austin. I'm CEO and co-founder of Hedgehog. Today, I'm going to demonstrate for you Hedgehog Open Network Fabric powered by Sonic. We're going to download the Hedgehog Secure Software Appliance. We're going to install and secure boot a cloud network. We're then going to use the Hedgehog API to provision a tenant with a virtual private cloud or VPC. We're going to then use the API again to provision a second VPC for a second tenant. And then we're going to demonstrate multi-tenant isolation. VPC is a foundational cloud network service that makes the cloud the cloud. Our cloud fabric will be pretty simple. It will be two switches running Sonic and our Kubernetes control node. We'll have a control server running the Hedgehog controller, which is built on Kubernetes, and we'll have four servers. We're going to start by downloading the Hedgehog software appliance. We're going to log into Docker so we can download all of the additional components we need. We're going to initialize the software appliance to download the components it needs to run a virtual lab. So we're going to run virtual switches, virtual servers, and uh, the Hedgehog control plane. Then we build the software appliance for that preset. Now we're going to run the software appliance. It's going to establish root of trust on our switches. It's going to install Sonic on trusted switches. It's going to install the Hedgehog Kubernetes agent on those switches. It's going to install the Hedgehog controller on the control node, and then it's going to do UEFI secure boot of Sonic. It's going to apply day zero configuration uh, to Sonic, and then it's going to continually um, test and report whether our cloud network is secure. Okay, our cloud network is now running. It took less than seven minutes and 30 seconds to download Hedgehog, uh, install, and, uh, boot, and configure and run our network. Okay, I'm in another terminal window now. I'm signed into our control node. I'm going to use the Hedgehog API to create a VPC. It's going to have a subnet and a DHCP start range. Same API call that I would make to create a VPC on AWS. I'm going to call the API again with some different parameters, this time to create a VPC2 for tenant2. I'm now going to attach server1 to VPC1, and I'm going to attach server2 to VPC2. Now I'm going to test multi-tenant isolation. So I'm tenant one on VPC one. I have access to server one. I should not be able to access server two, which is attached to VPC two for tenant two. So I'm going to try to ping server two from server one. This should fail. It's unreachable. And I'm going to try to ping server one from server two. It's also unreachable. You can see I now have multi-tenant isolation. Tenant one cannot view tenant two resources and vice versa. Okay, finally, to show that this is dynamic, I'm going to create peering between VPC one and VPC two. Now, if I try the ping again, it works. I get data back. And same thing, if I try to ping server one from server two, it now works. That's the end of the demonstration. I showed you downloading the Hedgehog Secure Software Appliance using it to install and secure boot a cloud network fabric, provisioning tenant one with VPC one, provisioning a second VPC for tenant two, and then showing you multi-tenant isolation, which is the foundation for multi-tenant cloud services.